What's going on? It's Ari Herstein, author of How to Make It in the New Music Business. Now the third edition of the book. So much has changed in the music industry since the last edition of my book came out three years ago. We had a pandemic. Everything has been updated, so I decided to update my book. Everything from global royalty collection to social media to what the touring industry looks like post-pandemic. There are 100 new pages to this book, and things are updated in every section and every chapter. So even if you devoured the last edition of my book 10 times over, I encourage you to check out this new book. I guarantee you're gonna learn a ton. Now, what has shifted over the last three years in the music industry, and what things have I added to this new edition? For one, TikTok launched global superstars, not to mention the countless independent artists who saw massive success from TikTok. Indie artists and labels continue to grab a bigger piece of the recorded music revenue pie. And because the majors are losing so much of their market share, they are now offering artists record deals that were unthinkable just three years ago. I discuss many of these deals, how they went down, and how you can prepare to receive them yourself. Since COVID, new live streaming platforms have popped up left and right, offering both ticketed and free live streamed events with lots of monetization possibilities. I tell a bunch of stories on how artists have live streamed successfully and how you can too if it interests you. Whereas in the past I focused mainly on the American music industry, this edition goes global. So no matter where you live, I'll explain how best to collect all of your royalties, tour your region, and build a worldwide fan base. I discuss all the new revenue streams and how to make sure you're grabbing all of the money out there that's owed to you. I added an extensive chapter on the many other careers that exist in the music industry other than recording artists. I touch on NFTs, the blockchain, micro investments, and all things crypto and metaverse, for better or worse. Release strategies have evolved. Email, DMing, and text message etiquette have all evolved. Social media advertising and influencer marketing have exploded. TikTokers became a thing. Instagrammers became less of a thing. Success on Twitch became a thing. Twitter and Snapchat became more niche. And Facebook, I mean meta, I mean Facebook, I mean whatever, Zuck. Press isn't what it once was. There is now an entirely new strategy on how and why to approach media and press. Over the past year, I conducted over a hundred interviews with the movers and shakers of the industry. And for me, I launched a 1970s funk soul immersive concert experience with my project Grassroots District, released my first solo album in seven years, and ran the Uncancelled Music Festival, which raised over $100,000 in 10 days for hundreds of musicians and venues in the weeks directly following the live music shutdown. I got a crash course in politics when I helped change and rewrite California's gig worker law, AB5, by lobbying politicians, negotiating with unions and lawyers, and appearing on news programs across the country. I ran the three-day, four-night songwriting camp and conference SongCon in New York City, hosting songwriters from all over the world, developed and launched a handful of new courses for Ari's Tech Academy, which now has over 5,000 students, crossed 100 episodes on the New Music Business Podcast, and I got married. Wherever you are at on your journey, you now have a partner along the way. We're all in this together. Let's get it.